I was just about to say, like, a lot of this stuff is not too fast to play, but it's the technique that makes it challenging to pull off that good. <laughs> At which point he just started to go a bit faster. <laughs> Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. Thank you to all my patrons, specifically the shout-out members and the higher tiers. I'm going to react to the newest one from Tommy Johansson being The Loner by Gary Moore. I've just reacted to Jeff Castellucci's version of Icy Fire, so check that out if you want to see my reaction to that one. After this, I'm going to react to Ren with his song uh, Suicide. So let's check it out, The Loner. Uh, I, I'm not sure if I know the song, but I guess we'll find out. Here we go. It already strikes me that it's filmed like more nicely than usual. I also like the color grading in this. I mean, guys, it's something totally... I, I normally don't comment on that in his videos, but... <laughs> He has his plectrum right here in his hand. Okay. <laughs> Better this way than the other way around, I would say. Are these from the tour with Sabaton? Because I don't see the like, grey military outfit that they usually have? Or is this with another band like Majestica or such? Let me know, guys. Where this footage is from. Oh, this is from Sabaton. This is from Sabaton, but I'm not sure about this. Oh, it probably is. Almost like a pinch of money there. That was a nice pinch there. Um, it's it's cool that we actually see the setup, how he records his guitar. And I I don't think it's much different than this. I actually believe he records uh, some of the guitar stuff like this. And it's possible. I mean, the only thing that I need is also, like, my laptop, my audio interface, and my guitar connected to my audio interface. I don't need anything more than that. Perhaps some headphones or such but aside from that it's perfectly possible to do it like that i mean it's much much easier than it used to be like back in the day but okay we hear the voice
so it's cool. Like I assume it is. It is an instrumental song, perhaps. Uh, but we do hear some of uh, some of his voice in the background there. I was just about to say, like, a lot of this stuff is not too fast to play, but it's the technique that makes it challenging to pull off that good. <laughs> At which point he just started to go a bit faster. I really like the color grading in this. There's a bit of a turquoise filter kind of on it, uh, and a bit of a teal, a bit of an orange uh, too. Again, we in the background. It is interesting. I was actually waiting for a moment that I could see it. Yeah, right here. We see his guitar connected to a cable. And it's like pulled through his belt. So that it doesn't really come off that easy. Or that the cable doesn't snap. A lot of people do this. Uh, but he has some kind of L-shaped um, end there, jack. Uh, so that it's less easy to, to snap like that. Interesting. I thought when he was filming this, perhaps it wasn't necessary to connect his, uh, his guitar to a cable. Perhaps it is with sound, it, perhaps it is recorded without sound in this video, but when I film uh, music videos uh, with my guitar on location, I am not connected to a speaker. I just play it like that, along with uh, the music. But, okay. It seems more realistic like that. More real. Sounds great, sounds great. Uh, also making use of the tremolo bar for the uh, vibrato. Because it is kind of hard when you are bending upwards to have a consistent uh, tremolo there or a vibrato vibration in his tone. So he just holds it there and he makes use of the tremolo bar to do it so he can keep the tone accurate right here. That's cool. Like not every guitar has a tremolo bar of course, like some of them do or some have the option to to connect one like my my Squire has the option to add a tremolo bar. My Epiphone doesn't. My Epiphone doesn't have the option to add 
uh, a tremolo bar. Neither does my Journey uh, instruments guitar, I believe. I don't think so. But okay, that was cool. It wasn't instrumental. It's different than we used to. But I mean, now we see him uh, pure as a guitarist, right? As a guitar player. Guys, I hope you enjoyed my reaction to this one from Tommy Johansson. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other reactions to Tommy Johansson, Sabaton and such, other bands, other musicians and such. I also have music videos and tutorials for you guys to check out. So thank you very much and see you guys next time. Bye. Tommy Johansson is his newest. Uh, I've just reacted to uh, to Jeff Castellucci's Jeff Castellucci's Jeff Castellucci. Uh, um, uh, like when I re or or my Epiphone Les Paul doesn't have the option to add. Um, <laughs>